I, Spencer, in the presence of God and these witnesses, take you, Leah, to be my wife. I promise to love and to cherish you in sickness and in health, in prosperity and in adversity. We are gathered here this afternoon to celebrate with Spencer and Leah for the work that God has done in their lives to bring them together. Leah, there are so many amazing qualities about you that I love. While I'm attracted to your beauty, you really are the cute total package. But for our wedding, that is not the strength behind our vows of how we will live the rest of our lives. Our wedding is a celebration of the shift from attraction to covenantal love that you have longed for your whole life. It's been modeled so excellently by our parents, both toward each other and toward us, and especially in your adoption. It's been shown by friends in our church community, but now today we get to enter into the beautiful covenantal relationship of marriage. And I'd say I do for the rest of my life with all that I have I do. Look to Christ and be humbled. Look to Christ and count others as more significant. Look to Christ and consider the other person's interests above your own. Every day, every moment, every breath you take. Dear Spencer, I can't believe we're finally here. You make me laugh more than anyone else, and I find my home in your arms. Through all the ups and downs of dating and engagement, you have demonstrated steadfastness, loving kindness, and wisdom. You will make an excellent father and role model to and for our children. It is my great privilege and honor to pronounce you husband and wife. What God has joined together, let no one and nothing separate. Spencer, you may kiss your bride. Your eager, energetic spirit shines through and we often match in that passion. And at times when God has led us slightly differently, we've meshed them together into a beautiful vision for life, compassion and joy, family and work. God has brought us so uniquely together in complementarity. I've learned so much through you, not only through your love of traveling, your desire to seek justice, your desire to be the best you can be as a child and servant of God. Spence has been there for me through the good times and the bad. Whether we were taking a trip after I had a tough breakup or after my grandpa passed away, He's truly just been a constant presence in my life. Leah, I wouldn't be the woman I am today if I didn't have a big sister like you. I always looked up to Leah, whether it was seeking the biggest, fastest roller coaster, starting figure skating, or encouraging me to use my God-given skills to help people. Cheers to Spencer and Leah, the ways that God has brought them together and commissioned them for adventures to come. I promise to be the leader of our family, even as Christ leads me. I promise to comfort and to protect you, to be your companion, and to delight in you from this day forward. In joy and in sorrow, in abundance and in want, through trials and tribulations. I promise to be to you a true and faithful husband in all things. 
to cleave unto you, forsaking all others, as long as life shall last. I love you, Spencer Williams Sutherland, and I will commit to loving you for all eternity. Leah, you're my best friend, and today, with tears in my eyes, I take you to be my dear wife. It is with great joy that I present to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Spencer Sutherland.